you and I did a quick uh, six five insider edition. Had some executives join us from Marvell um, to share a breaking piece of news that happened early. Pat, was it Wednesday morning? I'm I'm just checking my timeline. Week's gone like a blur. Oh man, the days just like blur. But you know, here we go. Six boxes. Oh my God, there's two of you. There's two of me. This there's is two of me and I'm, exactly. I think we're both wearing the same shirt. Um, I'm not sure, but um, but uh, so. Marvell made the announcement for a net sum of about $955 million that it was going to be acquiring Novium. Now, this by no means, Pat, is a name that everybody knows. But when it comes to switching um, for, you know, cloud scale, fast switching. So there's, you know, um, you know, there's a couple of different um, types of switching. But this is an area that Marvell hasn't historically been able to play in that Broadcom and its Tomahawk series chip has been by far, I believe it's north of 50% of market share um, yeah. that, you know, they've had. And so this is in this, uh, you know, 50G series. Uh, Innovium has a nice and growing uh, percentage of the market. It's a, it's, they're, they're saying in the next year, this could be about $150 million in, in revenue ad. Now, I do want to clarify this. People that read the release and asked me some questions about this thought there was 150 million. The way um, Marvell is looking at this is through synergy and through growth momentum. You've got a company that's fast growing that with Marvell could reach 150 million in revenue in the next year. Um, you know, there's feature rich switch, and then there's this cloud scale switch space, and this is going to make Marvell. It's gonna it's going to enhance this infi, the 10 billion dollar infi investment with yeah. what they're doing with uh, with optics and light. Um, again, you know, check out the podcast. It's in our show notes because we had um, two of the most senior executives, including Chris Koopman, president of Marvell, join us to talk all about this. Um, but really interesting, Pat, what they're doing, getting in with tier one cloud customers, taking advantage of the data data market scale, uh, data center market scale. And Marvell's just been on fire. You know, I, I don't know what else to say. You know, I've quietly watched their stock price roar up. A lot of very good moves. Matt Murphy joined us at that 6.5 Summit, had a great chance to talk to him about his vision. Companies being very strategic, both inorganically and organically to grow, diversify, making great partnerships. This was a really good move in a very specific area that was clearly needed. It was something that the market asked about after the InFi acquisition. And without waiting very long, they bought the number two. And I'm sure Broadcom is nervous that with this acquisition, uh, Innovium is going to be much bigger threat to them because they're going to have all the resources of Marvel uh, at their disposal. Yeah, listen, whenever, whenever a market doesn't have three serious players, then there's an issue. And Innovium does... It, it's really split between, uh, not evenly, but about 30%. Uh, Innovium, uh, the rest, uh, Broadcom. And, you know, I, I talk to a lot of customers and they respect Broadcom, but they don't like Broadcom and they want more, they want more uh, competition. Uh, just to do a, a top view of, of what the, the architecture looks like, let me nerd out just, just a little bit. So, uh, as we see here, we've got the full array of, I'll call it uh, classic uh, Marvell. Innovium and Infi with the ability to play in uh, uh, the core switch, spine switch, and the Tor, the top of rack switch. And you've got this cool little chip here, Coherent DSP, in this fiber uh, connector, which basically connects everything at, at light speed. Marvell has been very successful in uh, lower speed copper. Now they have high speed. Uh, copper and high-speed uh, photonics, really uh, winding um, uh, out or or rounding out the offering. And, you know, I, I looked up their stock uh, five years ago. They're up 435%. Uh, percent. And by the way, five years ago, they were really known as a mixed kind of consumer play hard drive controller, right? It was Marvell. Right, we all knew Marvell. They jettisoned their their consumer um, stuff, with the exception, of course, for hard hard drive controllers that would go into, you know, a PC. 
Uh, and then they made a bunch of uh, acquisitions. And this is yet another, I, I would call this more of a tuck-in acquisition than, than anything else, but uh, hats off um, and congratulations to everybody there. By the way, some of the investors in Anovium look really smart. Strategic investors were uh, Qualcomm Ventures and Xilinx, right? That, that makes uh, a ton of sense. So congrats to them and also, um, Capricorn was in there as well, Depender uh, Solusia, and he was a, an early investor in, in Nuvia. So uh, Depender, congratulations, uh, two outs in, I guess, six months. Well, that's, uh, that's when you're doing it right, Pat. And, you know, the people that get behind these companies early and have the vision, the goal and the resources to play <laughs> in this space will certainly be rewarded handsomely in the in this era of, we are in of, of cloud scale. It's it's. Uh, the scale of money is is outrageous, but wow, very exciting, very solid for Marvell. The story keeps getting better. <laughs>